Hello guys, I hope you're doing well. I'm really excited to make this video because today we will be going to investigate some fun real life applications of highest common factor. Please subscribe my channel if you haven't done it yet. Also, I would request you to watch the video till the end to know how the highest common factor can help us in the daily life. Let's see where HCF can be helpful. So HCF can be used to split things into smaller sections, to equally distribute two or more sets of items into their largest grouping, to figure out how many people we can invite, to arrange something into rows or groups. Hmm, that's interesting. Let's explore these applications with examples. Arranging something into rows or groups. In this example, Eamon has a piece of cloth. She wants to make maximum number of napkins such that she uses all of the cloth and there is no wastage. The length of the cloth is 42 cm and the width is 30 cm. Hmm, let's see if we can help Eamon. So here, we need to find what is the maximum length or width of the napkins should be. And the condition is that Eamon needs to use the full piece of cloth. The word maximum indicates that we need to find the highest number that is shared by 42 and 30 both. That means we need to find out the highest common factors of 42 and 30. Therefore, we list down all the factors of 42 and 30 and circle the common factors. Hmm. By looking at the common factors, we can see 6 is the highest number that can be taken as highest common factor. The length and the width of the napkins should be 6 cm so that there should be no wastage of the cloth. So here we will investigate how HCF can help us to split things into smaller sections. Mia is giving away some packs of fruits to the charity. She has 45 oranges and 20 pears. She needs to calculate the maximum number of packs she can make out of the number of the fruits available, such that the fruits are equally distributed among the packs. Let's see if we can help Mia with our knowledge of highest common factor. In this example, we need to split the fruits into maximum number of packs, such that there would be no fruit left over. The word maximum indicates that we need to find the highest common factor of 45 and 20. So we list down all the factors of 45 and 20 and circle the common factors. By looking at the common factors, we can see 5 is the highest number that can be taken as the HCF. So Mia needs to make 5 packs of fruits. We can also verify our answer by calculating how many oranges or pears there would be in one pack. So there would be nine oranges and four pears in one pack. Here in this example, we will see how HCF can help us to equally distribute two or more sets of items into largest possible groups. Ms. Khan has three classes. Each class has 24, 32 and 40 students respectively. Ms. Khan wants to divide each class into groups so that every group in every class has the same number of students and there are no students left over. What is the maximum number of students she can put into each group? Hmm. Again, the word maximum indicates that we need to find the highest common factor of 24, 32 and 40. So we list down all the factors of the numbers and circle the common factors. By looking at the common factors, we can see 8 is the highest number that can be taken as HC8. Ms. Khan needs to divide each of the classes into groups of 8 students. Thank you for watching our video. I hope this video would help you to understand the real life examples of HCF. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Everyone can learn mathematics from more videos. And also, don't forget to share our video.